I'm going to build a Fallschirmjäger bolt-action army using this kit. So previously I did an unboxing of this Italeri kit and uh, you know we kind of looked at what was in there but we're going to take a deeper dive into how you can take this box kit and make a good foundation, a good backbone for a 172 scale Fallschirmjäger army. The advantage of getting something like this is that you get 48 figures. Whether or not we can use all of them uh, in this build, uh, we're going to find that out. All right, so what you get in the kit itself are three of these sprues, and they have 16 uh, Fallschirmjäger or paratroopers. Uh, and there are a number of different options that you could actually build from this uh, sprue and then apply it uh, to building an army. Uh, on closer inspection here, we're just gonna kind of go through the options. Looks like we have a machine gunner or light machine gunner with a peaked cap. He could be used as an officer, usually, um, in building your army, you want to have uh, an officer, uh, maybe a bodyguard or two for that officer as your kind of like headquarters unit. Um, and then anybody else that with that has a peak cap or looks slightly different or looks like uh, they're in a commanding uh, pose, you want to use as an NCO or an officer. So uh, this guy looks like an officer. However, he is carrying a light machine gun and you cannot arm your officer with a light machine gun. I, uh, we could use him as a light machine gunner, but I don't believe we'll be able to use this figure for anything else other than that. Next up, we do have a sniper. So what's neat about um, uh, any army build for bolt action is that uh, outside of your, uh, especially for um, a reinforced platoon or like a historical platoon, uh, you do have options to add um, like support for your your uh, army there so one of the support options is a sniper and this guy definitely looks like a sniper with the scoped rifle there okay we also have a guy here who has uh, binoculars and is signaling uh, I would take a look at this figure and either use him as a forward observer for artillery that's off the board or you can use him as a spotter for this sniper or for uh, your mortar okay we have a number of guys here, and actually there are a few more down here that actually have some machine guns. And because Fallschirmjäger or paratroops in general usually came in with SMGs, uh, this can fill out your, your platoon. And we'll take a closer look at how you build um, that squad and how many SMGs and, and special weapons you can have in that squad. So, uh, so this guy... Actually, this guy is a rifleman, but uh, these two here have SMGs, and this guy has an SMG as well as this one. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a, there are at least three SMG guys on this um, sprue, and that comes out to about nine of them. So in any case, we have a radio operator here. Again, you can use this as a forward observer uh, for your army. Um, that'll allow you to use artillery that's off the board. Uh, here's your medium mortar. Um, I think in mortar teams, medium mortar teams, uh, for bolt action, you need to have at least three figures. So we'll see how we can use some of these guys to create that medium mortar team. We have the radio backpack and the bipod for the uh, mortar here. So here's one of those SMG guys. Here's a rifleman with a Panzerfaust, so that's always good, having a Panzerfaust. Uh, and here's another SMG, another light machine gunner. Another light machine gunner. There's quite a few light machine gunners on this sprue. I think there's four of them. So uh, that could be problematic when we're using this kit alone just to, to build your false Fallschirmjäger army. But you know, we can, we can see what we can do. Um, and here obviously is a rifleman with two ammo crates and he will be your loader for whatever machine gunner you use. And then finally we have uh, a guy here with a peak cap and a, a rifle. So again, he could be used as an NCO because of the peak cap. Um, you want to delineate your NCOs and your officers from the regular uh, troops in your infantry. So we can use that guy like that. And like I said, you get three of these sprues. So that opens up a number of options on um, 
how you can set this up uh, for your infantry uh, squads. So uh, I'm going to build some of these up and we'll see what we can make out of just one of these sprues. And I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Uh, this is what I built out of the first uh, sprue. I'm just going to go through a couple of these options here and then uh, I will go with through a breakdown of what you can build for uh, for uh, your Fallschirmjäger, at least in terms of a specific build. Uh, these are German paratroopers of Fallschirmjäger that are wearing summer uniforms, so they look like they were, you know, during the Battle of Crete. Um, so I'm going to be kind of emphasizing that as um, the build for this particular set. In any case, I'm moving on. So the unfortunate thing is that I had three extra guys with light machine guns. And while um, that wouldn't normally be a problem, there are four per sprue, uh, that's quite a lot of machine guns and you can only take um, a certain amount for early war or late war. And uh, these are just wasted um, unless you proxy them in as like guys with assault um, guns. But uh, obviously these are light machine guns. But you know, let me know what you think. Should I proxy these guys as um, Fallschirmjäger with assault guns? That way they are not wasted figures. Or do I just uh, WYSIWYG it and just play them as they are, which means that I won't be using uh, up to nine of these guys uh, as uh, light machine gunners. So let me know, comments below. All right, so first up, we have our light machine gun team. Uh, there's your light machine gunner and the loader who has a rifle. So definitely this will be going into a rifle squad. Uh, it is, you know, a longer range weapon. So you want to put the light machine gunner in with um, a team or a squad that, uh, you know, can basically harass and support any, any teams or squads that are going in uh, under assault. So um, it's good that the loader has a rifle. Um, so that ranges will not be, you know, everybody will be useful when firing with that squad. So this is your light machine gunner and your loader. Next up, I was able to get basically uh, three riflemen here. Um, this guy has a Panzerfaust. Uh, and in terms of the uh, duel in the desert, Battle of Crete, I don't think that they had Panzerfaust there, so I would basically have to proxy that as like an anti-tank grenade or something like that. But, uh, you know, if I was doing late war, uh, that would be pretty appropriate. Uh, but again, uh, three riflemen, one of them with a peaked cap, so that could be the NCO for the squad. Even though it's only three guys here, that's not an issue because again, we have three sprues, 48 figures, and we can build up a like a, a, at least a larger rifleman squad um, out of those sprues. So those are your three riflemen, one with a Panzerfaust. Next up, we have four guys here with uh, SMGs. So across uh, three sprues, you'll be able to make uh, 12 of these guys. Uh, one of them does have a peaked cap. So you can absolutely use this guy as the NCO for this squad. You can also use this guy who's pointing basically in a very commanding pose as an NCO. So, And then out of the initial single figures, you have your sniper. So obviously you want to have a spotter with your sniper. Um, I don't have to check, I'll have to confirm that, but it's nice to have that support option there. All right, lastly, out of the kit, I did build a medium mortar stand. Here's the medium mortar dude. Here's a spotter, which you can alternatively use as a spotter for the sniper, and then the radio guy. What's cool about these artillery sets is that there is a lot of flexibility on how you can build your squads out and then, then the backbone of your army. As you can see, uh, we have a light machine gun team uh, that can basically join a rifleman team here. So this this right here could be a small squad of riflemen. Obviously, you want to make it as big as possible, and that could be taken care of by building up the other sprues for that. Um, you have a SMG team here. You'll just need a few more guys to, to make that possible. 
and then you have a sniper and you'll need a spotter but again because you have three sprues you can kind of like work around um, building that uh, because you do have the option to, to use these figures as other things and then obviously you can make three mortar teams but just switch around the figure so that you can use this guy or this guy as a forward observer or a spotter for a sniper so there's that option so when building your army you definitely want to have either your army book for your faction or a campaign book that has a specific um, version of that army uh, or you know a specific era for that army that you want to play um, another good way of uh, list building is to go to easyarmy.com and just write your list from there they have uh, quite a number of lists based on the campaign books based on the army books that allow you to build uh, the army that you want based on the figures that you have and the era that you want to play them from. So that's basically what I'm doing with the Falsham Jaeger uh, from this kit. Let's see what I can make. So in terms of building a Falsham Jaeger army, um, I am using the rules for from Duel in, in the Sun, I think is what it's called. Basically, um, it's going to be Greece, Battle of Greece, Battle of Crete, uh, because obviously these guys seem to be from that part of the war. Um, in terms of building a Falsham Jaeger army uh, out of that, uh, early war, you'll need at least um, for an infantry squad, an NCO that can take an SMG. They can, you know, you can have them keep a rifle, but you can take an SMG with an NCO. Uh, and then you can have up to two more SMG uh, infantry in that squad. So basically you're gonna take let's say this this squad here and add two more SMG and that's one of your squads um, the limitation however is because you'll have different ranges based on the rifle the LMG and the uh, SMG they you know the SMGs are used for assaulting so obviously you want to get those guys closer and into the battle and whereas these guys want to stay out of the battle and just shoot from afar uh, uh, those are conflicting um, you know uh, abilities and you you want to make it uh, as consistent as possible when it comes to your infantry squad so definitely not something that I would do I would separate these uh, into SMG and again this is for early war only um, in the same book if you make a late war squad your uh, NCO can take an SMG you can have up to six squad members have SMGs, so you can actually make an assault squad using SMGs. Uh, you also have the option of getting up to nine other uh, infantry, um, uh, nine other soldiers with assault guns. Now, again, this kit did not come with anything that resembled an assault gun, but we do have these light machine gunners that you can proxy with permission from your opponent obviously uh, as assault gun guys so that could be an option that's available uh, that's entirely up to you you can have up to and lastly you can have up to two light machine gunners uh, with their respective loaders on an infantry squad and that's for late war falls from Jaeger um, so there's those options right now I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna build I definitely want to have different options in the event that I want to feel this army in a more flexible way. I definitely want to have a larger rifle squad with a uh, light machine gun. I definitely want to have an assault squad with SMGs uh, and I want to have a sniper um, with a spotter. So obviously I'm going to take some of those figures from the box that I've used for other stuff and uh, make make those, those options available. Um, but yeah. So, all right, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is just the first video in the um, building an army from a box kit based on the Warlord bolt action rules. I'll be following up with what I've eventually built from the two other sprues and showcase that army. Um, again, you can apply this um, uh, to any like a tallery or any, any box set that comes with, with the correct scale for how you wanna play for bolt action. Um, especially the Warlord uh, infantry kits so that come with 30, 30 infantry. Those are always a great foundation to starting an army um, in a very like budget conscious way. But you know, well, we can go through that another time with a different army. But th this was just what I was gonna build 
uh, my or base my Fallstrom Jaeger army off of uh, of this kit and what um, you could do. Hopefully, this gives you guys ideas because uh, the best thing about um, building armies is how can you do it um, to fulfill certain needs in that list building. Um, and then you know try to make it work from a box like this hopefully you guys enjoyed this i will have follow up a couple follow-up videos and then you know what can we can go from there so all right that's it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more army building videos from wargaming noob historical